The cell pip reading section is comparatively easier as compared to writing and speaking sections because you are provided with answers as options. So, even if you don't know the right answer, you will get hints from the answer. In case you are running out of time or you are blank about the answer, you have the choice to guess and you may get it right. The most important thing in reading part is examiner tries to test your vocabulary. So, you need to be strong in vocabulary part. So you are advised you to start learning new words to score high in the reading test. Cell pip reading part takes a maximum time of 55 minutes. Comparatively, others test this reading test take less time. For example, listening part takes 50 minutes, speaking part takes 20 minutes and writing part takes 27 plus 26 that equals to 53 minutes. In the reading section, there are four parts, and one practice test. Each part takes around 10 minutes to complete. Let's talk about four parts of the reading section. Reading section begins with practice test, which is better known as practice task. This task consists of four parts. Part 1 is reading correspondence. Part 2 is reading to apply diagram. Part 3 is reading for information and last is. Part 4 is reading for viewpoints. Practice task. The test begins with a practice task where you are given one passage of around 3-4 lines, around 100 words passage, which is on the left hand side of the screen. On the right hand side, there are questions with options to answer as a drop down. You may select the right option by left clicking the mouse. You can select the answer which you think is most appropriate for the given question. Now start with part 1. Part 1 is reading correspondence. The practice test is followed by reading part 1, that is, reading correspondence passages provided on the left hand side, which is generally in the form of an email. After going through the passage, you are supposed to answer the questions provided on the right hand side of the passage. Questions are divided into two parts. Part 1 Ask questions about your understanding of the content provided in the passage. Part 2 is your response message from which you decide the most appropriate options by selecting the right option using the left click of the mouse. Reading Part 2 is reading to apply a diagram. In this section of the reading test, you are provided with few diagrams along with the relevant information on the right hand side. You are provided with options as per the information on the left hand side, again, you are supposed to choose the best choice from the drop down menu. This section is basically the pros and cons section. Each image is provided with information which is both good and bad in different aspects. Keeping in these pros and cons of all the elements of the question, you need to decide the best answer. Tips and tricks. Don't waste time memorizing the content of the question. Just pay attention to the kind of information you are provided with. Better start reading questions after just going through the paragraphs. Reading part 3 is reading for information. In this part, informative passage on any random subject is on the left hand side, and there are around 3 to 4 paragraphs which are named as A, B, C and D. The information is provided in these passages. Now on the right hand side, you are given some statements which are numbered as 1, 2, 3, and so on. You are supposed to decide from which paragraph this statement has been derived. Each statement starts with a drop down menu with five options named as A, B, C, D and E now, as you know. There were four paragraphs named as A, B, C and D on the left hand side, this means, if that particular statement has nothing to do, with the paragraphs on the left, then your answer will be E, which depicts none of the given A, B, C, D paragraphs. Last reading part 4 is reading for viewpoints. In this part, there is information provided in 3 to 4 paragraphs, on the left hand side, the information basically, consists of some different idea, or viewpoint about particular subject, 
or activity. And on the right hand side, there are around 10 questions. Questions are divided into two categories. Category 1 asks questions about the information provided in that particular viewpoint. Category 2 questions are derived from the comments on that particular viewpoint. Again, you are supposed to select the best option from the drop down menu in each question. Thanks for spending time with us. If you are looking for more information on cell PIP ELTS or TIG exams, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks once again.